Wing Air enables accurate location of shooters. Provides 360 degree coverage, day or night. All calm here at Farnborough Airport in southeast England. But in less than a month, the world's aerospace industry will gather here for the biannual Farnborough Air Show, and all eyes will be looking to the sky. The Airbus A350, which has already travelled to the Singapore Air Show, will be at Farnborough for the first time. And Boeing 787 returns to Farnborough four years after it made its international air show debut. Qatar Airways, which has a total order backlog of around 160 aircraft, will use Farnborough to showcase its new long-haul fleet, with a Boeing 787, an A350 and an A380 on display. But with the big three Middle East carriers' fleets taking shape, and after the mammoth order bonanza at the Dubai Air Show last November, is there a bubble on the horizon? Probably not. Production rates and increases seem to be backed by demand. Will we see a lot of order announcements at the show? Maybe not. Airframers are now in implementation mode as they ramp up production to meet the order backlog. There will be one high-profile aircraft missing at Farnborough. Bombardier says the C-Series will not depart from its now-delayed flight test program to fly to the UK, but while the air display is a focal point for the biannual show, the real talking points could be the aircraft, or derivatives of aircraft, that are not yet in production. The big question is, will Airbus formally announce the A330neo at the show? The announcement would be an important one for Britain's Rolls-Royce, which has been pegged as the sole engine supplier of the re-engined widebody. The Aviation Week team will be at the show bringing you news, analysis, videos and photos online, in print and on your mobile. 